All right, guys, here are today's top stories in our What in the World segment. Number one, it's quite interesting. Someone has sent me a video from the archives of President Ruto back in the day. When I say back in the day, I don't mean like 2007. We are talking 2023, telling the people of Moranga how they are shareholders. Here's the tip. Professor Njuguna Ndungu. Hapa hapa Moranga, mumenipatia chairman, ambaye anakusanya ushuru yote Kenya. Anaito Bwana Maura, anatoka hapa Kandara. Na nyinyi watu wa Moranga, waziri wa maji ndio huyu yuko hapa. Kwa hivyo, kama kuna watu shareholders wakubwa wa hii serikali ni watu wa Moranga. Na hiyo kazi ingine yote, tutakikisha ya kwamba inatimia. Watu wa Moranga tumekubaliana. Munasema tupange ajira vijana hawa wapate kazi. Na tupange kilimo yenu. Na tupange... Now, if the president can talk about shares, but he's not impeached, the deputy is impeached. If the president, while he was DP, could call out Hilary Mutiambai and George Kinoti, and he did not get impeached, but Rigadi calls out the director of NIS, he gets impeached. This just goes on to show the double standard. Again, like I've been saying all week, in politics, it's not about what you've done. It's about how many people like you. Politics is numbers. If enough common monainchi like you, you get elected. If enough leaders like you, you'll get away with a lot of things and have your way. Be it passing legislation, be it impeaching who you don't like, it's all about numbers. And I hope the deputy learns that lesson. If he survives, he needs to seriously change the way he does things. That story of Mlima Kenya needs to come to an end. In the sense that he now has to make friends. He should never leave it to chance. It's not every day the courts will rescue Rigadi Gashagwa. If the Senate fails to rescue him, he could go to the courts, which are very fond of disappointing the national government. They could easily revert that. But if he goes on the same path of staying in Nyeri and Melima Kenya and not moving around making friends and using money to make friends, politicians are usually bought. If he doesn't do that, he will find that another impeachment motion has been brought in six months. Because usually, if he survives, they cannot immediately introduce another one. They have to wait six months. If it was immediately, even Kawira Mwangaza would be always in the Senate. But the MCAs are just doing press-ups, waiting for six months, they impeach again. So in that period, he needs to have made a rapport with senators, made a rapport with members of parliament. And that way, he can survive until 2027, after which he can do whatever else he wants to do. Either way, the point I wanted to put across is that it's not about what you say or what you do. It is about how many people like you as an individual. Because if it was about what people said, Ruto would have been impeached as deputy president. He has done everything Gashagwa has done. And he has said everything Gashagwa has said, including this thing of shares which he said while he was president. So that's that. Moving on to the second story of the day. Kasmul Mokore, or sorry, I believe it's Kasmul uh, Makore, has recently deployed a new tactic. Of late, he seems to have befriended Awan Calvin Sokoth, who you might know as Gaucho. You can see them here in this image. Now, Caswell Makoure, being a smart guy, he used Gaucho and their friendship to secure a meeting with Raila Odinga and Aida Odinga. In fact, here are some of the images of the meetup. Now, why on earth is Caswell Makoure doing this? He's doing this because he's interested in becoming member of parliament in one of the constituencies in Migori County. And he tends to believe that Raila is the ticket there. However, the inject party leader, Awan Morara Kebaso, is of a different idea. He believes that Kaspel Mokore seeking a meeting with Raila is a zero-sum game and that his plan will fall flat on his face. Here's what Morara Kebaso had to say. Roll the tip. I disagree with what Kasmuel has done. I wish we were close friends mm -hmm. and I wish I was in a position to have advised him mm -hmm. but you know he believes in himself mm -hmm. and he believes what he is doing is right. The reason Kasmuel is doing what he is doing is because he is interested in politics in Megori. Okay. Okay. And he believes that the person who can make it possible mm -hmm. is Raila. Ah, okay. That is why he began by associating with Gaucho, then Gaucho took him to Raila. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that is why he associates with ODM MPs and takes photos with them. He is you know, coming closer to be a member of ODM and mm -hmm. to start participating in ODM mm -hmm. because he believes that will be his journey mm -hmm. to politics mm -hmm. in Migori County. Okay. But Kama Kasmuel Angekuja Kwangu, mm -hmm. I would advise him. All right. I would have told him that the politics of Kenya is changing. Mm. 
And even if you look at uh, the support that the Honorable Raila Odinga had, mm -hmm. it has gone down mm -hmm. ever since he joined the government. Now, Wakati Ambali take advantage of the Gen Z demonstrations mm -hmm. and benefited himself. Mm -hmm. I would have told him that Migori is the only county where you don't need an ODM ticket mm. to win anything. Mwishmu mm Okoth -hmm. Obado won governorship. Now I for one agree with Morara. Anybody seeking a Raila Odinga or William Ruto endorsement in 2027 will see dust. It is only in Mlima Kenya where a Rigiji endorsement will mean something because the ground is very ready and eager to avenge him and send those who impeached him home. But anywhere else, anywhere else, this time around, the people of Baba said left, left, or right, right, they are going to see dust. Because the moment the party leader of any party is not on the ballot, the strength of that party diminishes. If Kalonzo Musioka will be the challenger in 2027, Wiper Party will be very strong. There are people who will be even elected with Wiper Party in Mlima Kenya, if that is the arrangement Kalonzo has with Rigathi. So depending on a star that is slowly but surely withering out. Raila is leaving Kenyan politics. If he passes AU, he is gone. If he fails, no one will give him another chance. He has failed enough times. So that would be the wrong person to be looking for an endorsement from, in my opinion. And I agree with Morara Kebaso that Kasmal Mukori is uh, setting himself up for failure. He needs to hit the ground on his own. If he's going to see Raila to get resources, well and good. If it's a courtesy call, well and good. If it is mentorship, well and good. But let him not depend on endorsement. Whereby in 2027, he's putting posters of himself with Raila all over Migori. That will not work. At the end of the day, guys, that's all I had for you today in our What in the World segment. Do drop me your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. And in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula. Hit the subscribe button. You're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. All right, guys. Adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.